What's up guys, new workout, shoulders and bicep, mainly biceps. We'll do two, uh, three exercises of shoulders and then we'll do uh, three exercises as well for bicep, but there's more volume in the bicep exercises. Um, and we start with uh, dumbbell press in superset with neutral grip. So hammer grip uh, press as well. We do 10 reps in superset with the hammer grip press, eight reps. We do three sets total and when and then we'll jump to the next exercise, which is side dumbbell raise, 15 reps in superset with rear delt flies with dumbbell. We'll do 15 reps as well, three sets, and then we'll move on to reverse barbell press in front of you in superset with some shrug. And that will be it for shoulders, and then we'll move to bicep. Uh, it's one of my weak point, guys. When I'm pumped, it's not too bad. I didn't do arms yet, but you'll see, I'm getting like a crazy pump in my arms. It will look good. But when I don't have a pump, I feel like I need some size, you know, some, some density. I need that thickness. Um, and that's what I'm working on at the moment. So I will show you the bicep exercise in 10 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, that'll be it.
So for bicep, what we do is alternating dumbbell curl, standing, we'll do eight reps, eight reps. I want you to take as much weight as you can and basically focus on the negative. So you can swing a bit, make sure that your lower back is always straight. Use your leg if you swing and then focus on the negative. Make sure that you have a, a tempo of at least three, zero, one. When you go down, for sure will be hard. Maybe the, the six, seven and eight rep might be really hard. If it's too hard, then drop the weight a bit. And we will do four sets of that. After that, we'll move to concentration curl, the Arnold classic exercise, seated. We'll do 10 reps, 10 reps, and we'll do three sets. It's a basic exercise, but what I want you to focus is on your wrists. So I don't want you to, when you do your curl, imagine that I'm curling right now. I don't want you to have your wrist like that because you will use too much of your form. I want you to bend a little bit toward the direction of your wrists so you have all the tension on your bicep and you recruit more muscle fibers instead of using too much of your forearms. It's like when you do back, it's good to have grips, you know? Just to really be able to focus on your back because your forearm will fail before. That's the same thing, what will happen is like, because you struggle and your body just want to survive and want to use as less energy as possible to do the movement, it will recruit all muscle fibers in the forearm when you will contract your arm that way. Focus on that and I guarantee that you will feel your bicep like never before. And after that, we'll finish with dumbbell armor curl. We'll do 10 reps, 10 reps in superset with rope curl and we'll do 15 reps on the rope curl and that's it for the workout. Three sets for this one. We take a minute 30 reps between each set and we are done with the workout. That's it. And we close the gym right now. So guys, the workout is done and I wanted to take a little like three minutes, five minutes because it seems that you enjoyed the last talk in the latest video. So I wanted to talk about this, find your true north. Um, and the reason why is just, I think we all need, we all need to find a passion and the purpose that we are here. And I think my purpose is literally that creating content for you guys to inspire you. Uh, but before that, it's achieving and progressing as a human being and just learn from everything that I'm doing. And I've always been someone who who think a lot who analyze everything and who try to understand people as much as I can why they're behaving that way uh, even like criminals you know I was interested on in the way that why people I like, do that such thing you know what's their their motivation or what was the the reaction you know to a certain event and I've always been someone who tried to understand things and I think that's why I'm doing what I'm doing today is just because I like to analyze and be as objective as possible in what I do. And then after that, learn something from it and apply it in my life and then share it with you guys. So my, my motto is really like living the way that you, you want to live. Um, and I try to embed that in my entire being and in my, all my actions. 
and I try to be as true as possible. Um, so sometime, you know, it's good to create like epic content and create like some some clickbait shit to get the, the viewer come to your, to your video, but it's not uh, something I've been using a lot. Um, actually, I never used it, but I really try to create like meaningful content for you guys to change something, you know, or spark something in your life. And I think if we are able to create a community in which we are positive with everyone, you know, uh, if someone asks help or something or someone comments something, we reply to that person, you know, we just say like, oh, keep up the good work. Um, it's hard on, on, on YouTube, I feel, because everyone is behind a username and everyone is not their person, you know. It's, you can be whoever you want on YouTube, you can just create a bunch of accounts. It's not like Facebook, Instagram, you know, you, Instagram maybe more, uh, but like Facebook, you know, you're behind your profile, you know. So if, say, if you say something, usually people can notice you more uh, and you speak for yourself in, in a literal way. And uh, I think you, we, we have to, to be positive with everyone and just encourage everyone and find, find my true north. So my true north is really focusing on creating content and just developing myself in everything that I do and in all the successes and on, in all the failures and just, just, just being me, you know, and just try to share as much as possible because we don't know how much time we have left and I'm okay with it. And that's why I work so hard on creating what I envision and what I want because I want to live as much as possible and I want to, I'm someone who really likes to work and create and that's what I do most of the day. I just create stuff that I envision and, and ideas that I have and it's the most fulfilling job in the world. That's what I feel. Uh, when you're able to mix your passion and your creative process together, it's just amazing. And I hope you guys will have a taste once in your life because you will never go back. I don't know if you hate your life or if you hate your job or anything, but if you do, just try to put some hours every week, you know, shut down Netflix, shut down going partying, and just focus on creating something that you really enjoy doing and you will build the momentum slowly and you will, you will feel the fire, you know? And many people say like, ah, oh, it was easy, you got the money. I didn't get the money first um, and a lot of people like, they were trying to discourage me like, oh, you want to be a personal trainer or a fitness model? There's no money in there. Uh, but there's always a way when you live with passion and you create with passion, there's always a way to monetize your passion if you're creating awesome content for people and you're bringing value on the table and that you're creating true things and you're staying true to yourself. <laughs> Julian's just driving my car, so that's the sound of it. Oh, so good. Uh, I feel that we can all, we all have a gift, you know? And I think this is my gift. This is what I'm born for and I will keep doing it. And it's really nice to be rewarded with being able to do it full time and being able to create more and more, you know, and more epic stuff. And it's all because of your support, guys. And it's something that I pay back as well to people that have a gift and they create something, not, not even like fitness related, but like anything else that I feel like, I see like the passion and you see the fire in someone, it triggers you up. You're just like, damn, this is so nice. This person looks so alive, you know, looks so happy and fulfilled that you want to pay back to that person because they're giving you so much energy and that's what I try to do through videos, you know, give, give you my energy and my enthusiasm about what I do, you know, and about what I create. So on that, find your true north and there's more that will come with find your true north why I have that on my phone and I can just can't wait to share that video with you guys. On that, peace out, have a nice evening, maybe it was a long talk, uh, sorry about that. Have a nice evening or morning. I try to create evergreen content. Evergreen, which means uh, content that can last forever. So I try to not put too much time in, like, you know, time, uh, how do you say that? I try, <laughs> I try not to put too much time reference thing uh, so everyone can watch it whenever and just feel like they were there, you know, or it was like in the present. Well, this is just me. On that, peace out. If you want more content like this, check out marfi.com the podcast it's free there's a bunch of episodes and i just talk about deep stuff and the way that i've learned things the what i failed at uh, the way i see things uh maybe sometimes i talk about something i've read and it's just good insight or just it's just good information and it's it's light you know you can listen to that in the car wherever you are and it's totally free so check that out at marfi.com the podcast fit talk and i'm sure you will enjoy it peace out i'll see you in the next video